What's up everybody, hope you're all doing great. I have to grab my mic first. Uh, yeah, hope you're all doing great. Um, in the next few minutes, we'll do a quick price prediction and price analysis on Strike or STRK. So Strike is quite an interesting uh, platform. You can check them out. Uh, I mean, the most interesting thing about it, uh, I think you can lend and borrow, but you can also short sell a certain crypto. So I thought that was quite interesting. Uh, the volume is up to almost 800 million, and I'm not sure why that is. Uh, and the market cap is only 135 million. I mean, it's up by quite a bit, uh, definitely compared to today in the whole crypto market, but still, uh, not quite sure why. <clears throat> Um, so yeah, we're basically going to do a quick technical analysis on it, see where it can go in the upcoming days. Uh, first two quick disclaimers, first one being that this whole analysis is not financial advice, it's just my opinion based on a technical analysis, and you can uh, mix it with some other analysis, but um, keep that in mind, don't only use this one. Uh, second of all, this whole analysis is based upon the assumptions that we remain in relatively stable markets, which we are even when we're down, I mean stable markets doesn't equal bullish markets. Um, so yeah, if any big fundamental event or move happens, then please forget about the analysis because frankly, fundamentals are still stronger than technicals. Um, so yeah, what Strike actually did is we went all the way to fifty dollars, um, and from fifty dollars we dropped down. I mean, fifty dollars, uh, as you can see right there, there's quite a strong key level right there with two FIPS also, uh, and fifty dollars is obviously a big psychological resistance level. So we dropped from there, took a break, retest off of this level at around 38, 36, but also the 618 of the, the FIP of that move. <clears throat> and we tried again to this time uh, break or, or get to 50 again, but we an, actually didn't even manage to like break above 44. Uh, and all these long wicks, to me, seems like the uh, momentum at least is um, exhausted right now. And I don't think we can actually get back up there to 50 again even though the volume is really big i mean it doesn't even necessarily have to mean that the volume right now is that big it, it's just the daily volume uh, it might even be dropping already no no it isn't really the daily at least so i mean we might um, as soon as we break above uh, above 46 and yeah, then we might hit that 52 again or, or something like 57 uh, but as i said i think that chance is very low i think it is more likely that now we kind of drop down to 40 maybe find some support there and try to, to breach that 44 again. But I don't think that's going to work. I actually think we are uh, going to drop down 37 or 36.6 uh, at first. So kind of here and from there, we, we, we might consolidate a little bit between like 42, even 44 maybe and 36. Uh, but eventually like in a week or maybe a little bit less, like five, six days, I think we're dropping down even one level further at around $34. Uh, that's just what you tend to see with a lot of cryptos that have these massive bull runs. And I mean, the one anomaly is that, there's, that there is a lot of uh, volume right now in STRK. So that's the reason why I think it might hold uh, the support here at 38 uh, a little longer. But as I said, I think eventually, inevitably, we are going to drop down to <clears throat> the regions around 34. So that's quite a big uh, key level. It's basically 34.8 up until 32.4. Um, but yeah, that's basically my analysis for now. Uh, if you do have any questions about the analysis, then please let me know down in the comments and I'll make sure to respond to that as soon as possible. Uh, but as for now, thank you all for watching and listening and I hope to see you all in my next videos. Bye.